What up, what up? What's up, guys? It's been a minute since I did a live stream. Jay Muller in the house. What's going on? So I've been trying to figure this out for like 30 minutes straight, and then I realized that I had my videos on private, so it wasn't popping up. What's up, guys? Jack, Gus, Squash, what's going on? Megan, I was trying to go to bed early, sir. <laughs> what's early? How are the vids? I'm assuming you mean videos or vivariums. I don't know which one you meant. Just picked up a beautiful baby blue and Solaris this weekend. Have fun with that. Feeding baby blue and Solaris are so much fun. Oh, so much fun. Uh, no, Brian is not here. What's going on? Yeah, I know it's been, like I said, it's been a minute, so I did a live stream. How did I get water? Oh, it's probably gonna rain. Sorry, I'm doing this on my iPad, so it's like huge, weird looking at my face that big. Uh, how did Crockfest go? Uh, I didn't go to Crockfest. Crockfest, I think, is this weekend. Already taking down full pinkies. Awesome. Oh, who's that? London? I'm sorry, I missed. Wait, can I go back? Ah, oh, there we go. Landon Hill, what's up? What's going on? What's going on? Man, everybody's jumping in here. Yeah, it's been a minute since I did a live stream, so I figured why not. When are you going to the Reptarium? Um, hopefully going up to Brian's sometime after the new year. Working it out with another big YouTuber to go up there and uh, do like a huge collab between the three of us. So, um, don't really have dates set yet, but we are waiting till after the new year. So, what's up, Jeff from Arizona or Arkansas? Right? Where'd I go? Hot spring. Yeah. I got a question about the 6222 for Spring Modern Religion. Alright, shoot. Do you have a Russell's Viper? Do I have a Russell's Viper? I might. I might have a Russell's Viper. You have to wait for that. Damn, I wasn't expecting that question. <laughs> Any tip for snakes? Mine's got messed up from an unknown order. Um, you can get no pest strips. They help contain it. Um, they help keep the spread from getting bigger. I personally, no matter what the snake is, if you take the snake, you soak them for a couple hours, make sure it gets nice and hydrated, and then take them out, dry them off, obviously throw out paper towels that you dry them off with, then take Blue Dawn dish soap, which is the animal safe one, smother the snake's bodies with it, um, and then let that sit on them for about five to 10 minutes, and then put them, or if you have them in a tote already, then fill it up with a little bit of water, so they'll get some bubble action going on and that kind of takes care of the snakes on there. You do that once and then you do it again two weeks later and it kills all of the babies that could have possibly hatched. So that's what I do. Um, how's the almighty puppy, Asian water mother? Puppy's doing good. Puppy still lives at Brian's house. Um, he sent me a picture of him the other day, climbing all over one of his friends. It's pretty funny, but puppy's getting big. As soon as I get done with some of the bigger projects I'm working on currently, um, jumping on puppies, very large, very expensive cage. So there's that. Do a vid with Tyler Nolan. I know I haven't, I haven't, Tyler I know wants me to come over and build some vivariums for him, but I haven't talked to him in a little bit. Actually no, I talked to him the other day briefly. Hey Will, hope you have a wonderful day. Awesome man, thank you. Ma'am, thank you, ma'am. Appreciate that. Are you planning on getting a green anaconda? I already have two green anacondas, so no, I'm not planning on getting any more, but 
Yeah, I already have green anacondas. I was gifted two for my birthday last year. Oh, Mike's on, Mike's on, what's up, Mike? What happened to Fred? Um, I honestly don't know the whole backstory of what happened to Fred. Uh, I was trying to make it to his funeral today and unfortunately that didn't happen. So I was kind of bummed about that, but I was filled in by Mark and Anna from McCarthy that it was very good. Um, and there was a lot of people there. So I was, I was happy about that. Did you hear what Brian's getting soon? No, I didn't hear what Brian's getting soon. Been working with Carnage more ever since the update vid. No, I haven't been working, doing other side jobs, which there'll be a video dropping tomorrow and that'll be kind of explaining um, more about what's going on. Our Asian water monitor's doing good, awesome. Are you planning on heading up to Nerd anytime soon? I am having time trip up there. Um, I know Kevin wants me to come back up to Nerd. Um, I've talked to him, I think, twice in the past like week. So, again, something that might happen after the uh, New Year. Jess, who's the other live stream that's going on right now? Lollipop Girl, what's up? Um, if I need a welder. Well, thank you, Gus. Yeah, the, the loss of Fred was crappy. You should collaborate with Kyle from Premier for Primitive Predators. Why do I always call it Premier Predators? I don't know. Um, I'm actually working a lot with Kyle and Ryan right now. Um, so that will happen sooner than later. Yeah, Will, are you? Wait, what? I know I'm, I'm not streaming twice. I'm streaming once. Yeah. Oh, if I'm going up to nerd, gotcha. Sorry, Jess. He's rescuing a baby Savannah monitor. Actually, he's not. Uh, that Savannah monitor was coming to me, but then apparently the Savannah monitor died the other day, so that's not happening anymore. Oh, Donnie streaming. Pfft, nobody cares about Donnie. I left Donnie stream. Is he on YouTube? What's up, Ember? Do you ever go to the Everglades Outpost? Uh, yeah, my best friend owns it, so yeah, I do. Oh, Kit Kat's on? I didn't even see Kit Kat. What? Where's Kit Kat? Kit Kat's not on. What's going on? Oh, he's streaming on Twitch. Who does Twitch? What? What are you, you coming out and say hi? Can I? Oh, I can flip the kit. Oh, this is mobile. This is nice. Hello, jerk. It's like a widescreen TV on my end. This is Miss Twitchy. Oh, where do comments go? Um, oh, there's Kit Kat. What's up, Kit Kat? Uh, Twitch, Ember. Have you done any large desert bioactive enclosures? Looking to do a large one for my Medora. Any suggestions? Uh, Terry, yes, I did do one actually on the Barefoot Builder channel, my second channel. Uh, the first video I did was a somewhat large enclosure for a bearded dragon. So if you hop over to that channel, you can check that video out. You can do something very similar for that. So you can definitely grab some ideas from that video if you'd like and make them your own. Um, I need wasabi. I don't know why that your messages are only coming up like halfway. Rhea's Reptile Rescue. Um, Jennifer, what's going on? How are Summer and Coral? Summer and Coral sleeping right now, actually. No problem, Terry. Just got a white speck I've been looking to get to get to you, bro. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I wish. I want a white spec so bad. I actually got some more cages coming in here very, very soon, and I'm really excited about it. Um, Jay Muller's about five, I think five hours from there. 
Dingo. What about Dingo? Dingo with a question mark? Lewis, what's going on? I'm getting to my Miami. Nice. Um, oh, four hours. That's not bad. Have you ever found any non-native snakes besides berms? Um, have I? Yeah, yeah, I have. I found red tails too. So boas. Or you know how the homies are doing? Any more plants? You need any more? Do I need any more plants? Yeah, I need a whole freaking, I need a lot more plants because I started a whole second channel with the amount of builds I have. Are you kidding me? Uh, I leave at 5 a.m. so I don't hit traffic. <laughs> That's messed up, Mike. Just because Jessica is this tall, you can't even see her on camera, doesn't mean you gotta make fun of her. Why are you twitching at me, bro? You guys want to see a super fat Anubis? Let's see if I can flip this thing around again. Look how fat that boy is. Making a mess of his damn cage. All eating a Burmese python. Drives me nuts, that boy eats a ball python, or a Burmese python and drags it all over the cage, makes a giant mess after we clean it. Um, Let me know. Yeah, no, I, I gotta definitely give your uncle, a, shoot him a text or something. <clears throat> yeah, he's a chunker. He just ate a berm two days ago and that's what he still looks like. Glad I caught the live and YouTube didn't notify me. Took me a minute to figure it out. I think I tried four times and then I left, went back in the house and then realized uh, that I had my videos on private and that's why it wasn't working. Spoiled rotten Anubis. Yeah, that boy is spoiled. That's called butt art. <laughs> you want to see wasabi? Here, I'll show you wasabi. Everybody loves wasabi. What? <clears throat> And his beautiful girlfriends. Can you focus with this thing or no? No, I guess not. Uh, what's the biggest snake you have? Um, probably the big king cobra, technically. Can you add people to this? Have a collection? Uh, no, this isn't like Instagram. You can't do like a live with somebody unfortunately it doesn't work that way on, on on the on the youtubes um what is your favorite non-venomous snake that is a good question well to be honest with you i've always wanted green anacondas ever since i was a kid and the movie anaconda came out to me you know they were just amazing so i've always wanted them so now that i own two of them i'm really thrilled about that as for other, oh, Little John's out. As for other non-venomous snakes, don't really care to own any, so that's kind of, I guess, the green anacondas are my favorite non-venomous snake. Um, did you label for the snake yet? Oh, for the state yet. What? What's up, man? Huge fan. Awesome, man. Appreciate the love. First, still trying October. Oh my God, they're, they're coming in so fast now. I want to see my baby girl, Kratos. <laughs> Kratos, that is a, where are you? Nope, that's Venom. So Kratos is, which one is Kratos? No, oh, Kratos is one of these two. I can't see the double diamonds, whoa. That's really close. I think that's Kratos. Oh, no, that's Kratos. I lied. Boom. There you go. 
Your mom wants to say hi. Yeah, say hi to your mom. Do a collab with Dingo. Um, I'd be down, but I want to go to South Africa and do a collab. I have a lot of friends in South Africa, so if I do a collab with Dingo, it's going to be either at his place or or come to me. None of this uh, over the internet live stream stuff. To me, not bashing nerd. Not bashing nerd. Just to me, that, that's no fun. I'd rather go to someone's place and do it. So, yes, I would love to do a collab with Dingo. Uh, wouldn't need to talk to him first because that, that needs to happen, but... What your favorite crate? I don't have a favorite crate. I just I'm assuming you're talking about crates. Right? Don't you have an inspection at some point? Yeah, I have inspection every six months. We have inspections. I'm so excited to get my YouTube channel. I started with my Savannah monitor. What's up, New Hampshire? I love it. Just Cleveland from New Hampshire. Uh, if you could have any snake. What would you, wait, what? Why, I don't get why you're, maybe because your name's so long, it's like cutting off half of your your stuff there, Bria's Reptile Rescue. Um, so many, cho wait, what? Wait, where the comments go, there we go. Tips on Venomous. Yeah, don't get into them. It's an addicting hobby. Oreo's good, but it's too dark outside, so I can't take you outside to see Oreo. Maybe I'll do a live stream during the day, and we can go check, go in with the foxes or something. Maybe everybody would like that. <sighs> Oreo Michael. Don't you have to have all your non-natives labeled in pictures? Um, you have to have them labeled, yes. Pictures, yes, but they don't need to be on the cage. Um, inspectors inspect different people differently, so I have a very good reputation with FWC, so I don't need to have pictures on my snakes' cages. Um, people that have to have pictures on their cages might not have as good a relationship. I don't really know how that works out, but I've never had to do that, um, even with different inspectors, so... Why does a black mama smile? No idea. <laughs> Holding orchids. All the rescues are doing good. I'm still waiting to hear back from our vet. Um, he had some family emergencies, unfortunately, happen in the past couple months. So as soon as he is back on his feet, we're going full force back into the foxes. Two of them are getting rehomed right away, and then the other ones we still don't have homes for, so we will see. Um, how do you get a permit to handle venomous snakes? Depends on the state you live in. What's your favorite croc? Um, my favorite crocodiles are Orinoco crocodiles. Absolutely love them. Um, collab with Dingo. I already answered that. You said in a video when you got him, you wanted to name him after me. Oh, Oreo Michael. <laughs> Anything for sale? Yeah, I got baby Easterns for sale. What's going on? We'll try to get some Samar spitters. I don't know, I might get black and white spitters again. I love them. How's Coral doing? Coral's growing like a freaking weed. She is the size of a five-year-old already and she just turned three. Gonna have to Google those now. Orinoco crocodiles. Yeah, I'm actually, that's gonna be the next tattoo. Cross my, cross my forearm there. Uh, where'd the comments go? There they are. Um, yeah, show the gaboon. Love the double diamond, by the way. I got actually all the all the holdbacks. The babies um, I held back from here. I'll show the gaboon really quick. There's Lori. And then there's the other ones. Look at the color difference in those three. It's crazy. All right, so 
the holdback babies. Let's see. Oh, flip the camera around. No? There we go. Um, oh, oh, oh. She's your daughter. Give my kid more. Yes, don't get into venomous snakes. Could a mom of cobra and a spectacle have babies? Um, not that I'm aware of. I don't think they could, Tim. I mean, I've never tried or heard of anybody trying that. All right, let's see. So I have to find... So this is one of the babies here. She's actually got... There's a spot that there should have been a diamond, but it actually turned out to be four diamonds. Of course, I, you can't see it, it's in the back corner. You can kind of see it against the back wall there, but there's a perfect X through a diamond. So I kept that one. So that one was a male, this is a female. Again, three spots instead of a solid diamond, so I kept that one. I'm weird, I like to call them these. And then this is, what is this one? This is another female. Okay, so this one came from Kratos. So you can see the deformities in the diamonds on her back. There's like one huge one. Oh, so yeah, and then I have another hold back somewhere. Oh, here it is. I don't, I'm out of space, so I don't have it. Yeah, I love the Easterns that I kept. Yeah, and then this one, this one has a double diamond too. So yeah. So I'd I'd like to eventually breed them back to each other and get more pattern mess ups and continue and continue and continue, especially if I can do it every Every like three years or so, if I can pop out babies and keep going, that would be cool. Um, are you gonna do bat wings? Maybe one year, but not anytime soon. Um, Stevie, what's going on? Favorite type of caiman? I, know, I like the spectacle caimans. I think they just look evil. You're gonna breed your monocles again? Yes, eventually I will breed them. I missed it this year, unfortunately. I was just too busy. Um, I mean, I might throw them together a couple times this month, but I'm not keeping my hopes up high with that one. Did you build a rack? No. Do you like Michael Jackson? Um, not really a fan, no. Any wild panther chameleons in your area? No, it gets too cold up where I am. I don't think I've ever heard of anybody finding them way out here. How would you seal? Um, the excavator clay, I don't like excavator clay, Terry. Um, you could use, uh, you can use concrete. You just get, um, like a bag of concrete, whatever. You could still do the foam, do the concrete, add the color pigments to the concrete, just like I did the dry lock. And basically, there you go. It's the same thing. It's going to look a little bit rougher because it's concrete. Um, and you can add sand to the concrete to make it harder, but I mean, that's basically what you're gonna have to do. Um, but it should file their nails down on top of that, so. What's your favorite mamba? I don't have a favorite mamba. Um, Mr. E, I don't think so. What part of the state are you in? I'm in West Palm Beach. Do you like The Undertaker? From wrestling? Why do I know that? Probably because when I was a kid I used to watch wrestling. 
I have an Asian water monitor. Do you have any? Yes, I have a very large male. What's the next rattler on the list? Isn't that the question of the day? Whatever I can afford, which right now is nothing. I haven't bought any snakes in quite some time. Upchurch. Wait, what? I love Upchurch. Hey, Mikey's on. What's your favorite cat? Um, lions. How's Berm doing? Berm's doing great. Chilling right now. Just ordered him a bunch more rabbits. We went to visit Kona Texans into land. Met them. They're awesome. Um, I don't think I have met them. Joshua is texting me. you bro i know i've been been mad busy i haven't been posting much lately i explained a little bit in the video that will be up tomorrow so uh are the gator boys still around um kinda i know scott's about to have a baby he just finally announced it after a month of knowing um they finally announced he's about to have a kid with val his beautiful wife they live up in tallahassee jimmy riffle is still doing road shows his brother andy lives in like mississippi or something he's he's kind of far out there um <laughs> um but yeah everybody's still kind of around um Chris is still wrestling in a holiday park. Paul still wrestling in a holiday park. Yeah, sorry. I guess this is what happens when you don't do it on your phone. You get text messages about the live stream during your... I guess that's normal. Um, oh my god. Dallas. What about Dallas? Coming from Dallas? Ever want any Pacific Northerns? I got a ton every spring. I mean, I have a Northern pack right now that um, Ryan gave me from uh, Primitive Predators, but I don't know. I'll, I'll get other ones eventually, but right now all my money's going to building this zoo so we can get this bad boy open. Dude, what is the deal with Gatorland? I don't know. Live feeding? No, no live feeding. I don't do live feedings on my channel anymore. Stopped doing those years ago, like two years ago, at least. Uh, do you have any local source for larger prey items? No, I order all of my food from Rodent Pro just because I've never had an issue getting from them. I know it's a little pricey, but it is what it is. I get my food on time, never a problem. Uh, what is your favorite venomous snake? Uh, couldn't answer that. Wes, what's going on? Do you like country music? Yes. <laughs> They're an odd group. Uh, what's your dream animal? My dream animal would be a hyena. Please hit the thumb, people. Live feedings, more views. Yeah, I know they get more views, but... I can't uh, sit here and say I'm an animal person. Also opening a, a non-profit zoo if I'm sitting here killing animals on camera. <laughs> hyenas are effing gnarly. I love hyenas, that's why I have hyenas tattooed on me. When you are done building, I will take a vacation and come down. Appreciate that, Jess. What California species do you have? Um, I don't even know. I mean, I have I have Mojaves. I got what's in this one? 
Arizona Blacktail. That's the Mojave. I got an Albino Western. I need to sex that thing, see what that is. I got those are Prairies. Westerns, pygmies, I don't know, not too many California species. You gonna send me an Eastern? You gonna pay for it? Do you still have the water monitor? Yes. How's Anubis doing? Anubis is doing great. I just showed him earlier. I'll show him again, because he looks like a little fat sausage right now. And it's really funny. Fat sausage Anubis. He had a berm like two days ago, so he's all overweight. He's not overweight, he's just fat. What about wolf dogs? No, I'd rather just own a full wolf, not a wolf dog. Could you give a sneak peek into the quarantine room? Uh, no, I can't because that's, uh, there's only one snake in there currently right now, so. Uh, where the heck was I? What's your favorite snake? Not only. I didn't even see that ember. I haven't even actually been on YouTube myself in a while. How well do baby Easterns ride the hook? Some do, some don't pretty well. So it just kind of varies. My favorite one. Oops. Oh my God, too many questions. Wildlife, check your local news. What? How tall are you? I am 6'9 on a good day. 6'10 if my back doesn't hurt. What's the difference between working? Um, King Cobras are a lot smarter than other Cobras, in my opinion, um, where Cobras will just strike you to strike, King Cobras will sit there and think about how they're going to strike you, if that makes sense. He's very tall, yeah. Um, I have the Easterns posted on Fauna, also you can just message me on Instagram, that's fine too. Will, why don't you have any Mang Shangs? Because Mang Shang Vipers are really expensive. I wanted to know how to obtain a Venom permit. You have to, yeah, it depends on the state you're in. Um, I thought I was tall at 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> Um, I went to Copperhead to get venomous snake to get started. Um, it depends on the, the local venomous snake in your area. It's usually good to start with something local. Um, if you don't really want to start with something local, if you're allowed to keep venomous, I would always go with tree vipers just because they stay small. I, I, I say squams usually, but first time I ever caught a little mace live. <laughs> I don't know the laws up there. Yeah, Tyler's got two Mang Shangs. Mang Shangs are mad expensive though. Josh Gaming, what's up? Have you ever been to Vermont? Um, probably when I was younger. Would you ever get a Cape Cobra? Yeah, hell yeah, I'd get a Cape Cobra. Yeah, kings are not tree cobras. So have you been dealing with cold weather more? Um, yeah, believe it or not, the weather up here, literally an hour difference in moving, it's almost like 10 to 15 degrees. So the crocodilians have to come in a lot more until I get their ponds built and it's just a big pain in the butt. I didn't think it was going to be this much, but 
Not many venomous snakes in Wisconsin. No, there is not. I was just recently up there not too long ago. Hey, well, big fan. What's going on, Chelsea, Chelsea 04? How expensive is expensive when we're talking about the mangs? Um, I believe mang shang vipers are usually anywhere from six to seven thousand dollars a pair. So that's how expensive expensive is. And I'm sorry, I'm not about to drop seven thousand dollars on snakes like that right now. Has the Indian cobra? The Indian cobra is good. Hopefully, leaving soon, along with the mambas and this other gaboon. As soon as this other gaboon leaves the rack, I can put my other. Uh, male Eastern in there. Thanks, Jess. <laughs> I have a pet snake on my bed. Don't tell my parents. things different between species Matt yes they do um, most snakes do depends on what they eat if a snake eats rodents in one area but it's like cane breaks and timbers they're the same snake just depending on where you come from you call them different things but depending on their food items is depending on what their venom could be basically we all snuck reptiles into the house um, stuck up to Do you have to unrack them all? Or can you change it from the inside? Uh, no, I do. <laughs> yes, I have to unstack the visions if a heat bulb goes out. But I literally, especially when I started this room, um, I bought all brand new lights for every single cage, put all brand new lights in the same ones. They're all on timers, so they come on and go off at the same time. So if one goes out, there's gonna be a bunch more going out at the same time. So luckily, Every time a stack goes out, I'll buy at least all four new ones, change them all, especially if I have to unstack them just to do it and get it over with. So I know they're all going to be good and I don't have to do one and then another one like a month later. Um, planning on building more fox enclosures? No. The fox enclosure is already massive. I don't need to build any more. It's probably going to be one of the biggest enclosures on our property. Have you ever handled a sidewinder? Are they harder to handle? Sidewinders, yeah. Um, they're kind of a pain in the butt. Most, most, not all, most desert species are kinds of pains in the butt, especially to ride hooks. Um, it's on my community. Show off your gaboon, bro. That's what brought me to the channel. <laughs> I just showed the gaboons. I'll show them again, I'll show them again, why not? Uh, oops, I keep hitting the screen here. There we go. So these three have picked up nicknames. That one is Ginger, right? Yeah, Ginger. Oh no, that's these guys, Never mind. I forgot, somebody called these something else. Somebody named the big one Hamburger, a friend of mine. As the male, does a female, and does a female. And then you got wasabi, ginger, and soy sauce. That's what my apprentice calls these. Would I get some cotton mouths? No. So a cotton mouth was my first ever venomous snake back when I was like 16, 17, I don't remember. And they stink horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. No hamburger. Well, I know I don't like calling her hamburger. She looks like a hamburger, but not about that life. So yeah, copperhead bites suck. Thankfully, there's a lot of uh, anti-venom for them. 
what the apprentice did. Yeah, I didn't name him that. Uh, well, nice. Live in Vermont. Small publishers to around things can be enjoying fish wildlife to be bringing them back. Can't wait till summer. Any advice you could give? Yeah, don't get bit. That's the best advice I can give you. I'm hoping they're going to give you like training before all of that. Um, but yeah, I'm sure. I don't know. I watched, uh, what is that girl's name? There's some, some reptile girl. She just opened a, a place too. Um, she's got a huge following. I can't remember her name, but she did some venomous class in, uh, where was it? California or something. And they were like, made them wear like the boot things and two hooks and all this other stuff and i was like that's that's too much like i'm sorry that's just that's a lot how is the cotton mounts temperament um cotton mounts vary just like most snakes some wake up on the yeah snake discovery that was it yeah some can be fine some can be aggressive on the or not aggressive but defensive on the most or I guess more defensive than not, really. Yeah, there you go. See, I knew one of you guys would know. Snake Discovery. What's my favorite shark? Um, I don't have a favorite shark. I have a favorite animal. It eats sharks, but I don't have a favorite shark. Man, why does everybody want gaboon fangs? You're like the fourth person in the past week that has asked me for gaboon fangs. I don't necessarily want to be giving them out because you go around poking people, you're going to kill them. Yes, Ember, shush. You already know that. Jaws. Jaws isn't a... Uh... Can we see the squams or eyelash vipers? You're going to see them tomorrow. So the video tomorrow is literally... All tree vipers. Um, I just want to see my girl. She, your girl just ate today, actually. Because they're the biggest. Uh, would you consider crocodile snake venomous? Yeah, I mean, anything that's venomous could be deadly. Um, that's what that, that goes without question, basically, but it just depends on how much it gets put into you, like, the, the yield and everything. Um, let me get a hook. Jessica wants to see her. See her lovely girl. Um, what's your favorite movie? Huh. I honestly don't know. Um... Let's see. Oh, which one is she in? Nope, oh, that's a rattlesnake. You want to come out and say hi to your mom? Or no, because you just ate today. We'll do some herping videos. Um, possible. It's too cold right now, but... I'd love to have a Pope's tree viper. I would love to also get a pair for, for him, but that ain't gonna happen. And hey, what do you know? The Pope's tree viper is gonna be the thumbnail for tomorrow's video, so I think he, he came out probably probably the best. So how long have we been doing this? 44 minutes. Beautiful snack, yes. You still have the black tail rattle? Yes. You're welcome, Jess. Do you like the Probothrops? I'm not sure what that is off the top of my head. Just watched that a couple weeks ago. Stoked for tomorrow's video. Tree Vipers are my favorite. They're my favorite too. I like Tree Vipers a lot. They're not my favorite, but I like rattlesnakes the most. <sighs> Keep hitting the screen. Um, how are those sheds coming? What sheds? The sheds I need to get, they're not here yet, if that makes sense. 
or they're not they're not coming in anytime soon because yeah have you been bitten by any venomous snakes no can you wait what can you explain hognose snakes being venomous fang location uh their fangs are located in the back of their mouth instead of the front of their mouth just like the the mangroves and stuff. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, they're just rear fang snakes. Venomous snakes, that's all. Kevin is doing a fantastic job with Hillis. Yes, yes he is. Or boom slings, yeah. I got a mangrove. Somewhere. It's hiding. Oh, uh, they kill that. Um, I've never owned them. I've never worked with them. So I actually never owned Lanceds until recently. So have you ever kept a ball python and something else? It's cut off. I'm assuming corn snake. Well, there's a corn snake that's holding up the, the iPad right now. And I, right now I also have a total of four ball pythons, actually. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. See? See? I got lots of ball pythons now. I posted a thing on Instagram and I said, watch out Brian Barczyk, I'm coming for you. This one's pretty. Don't ask me what it's called. It's like banana something, pied something. <sighs> you ever going to get a Bushmaster? Yeah, eventually. Any exotic trips planned? Nope. I mean, in the state, but that's about it. Uh, do you have a Eurocone? Yes, I do. What was your favorite subject in high school? History, actually. Have you ever worked with or got to interact with the Komodo Dragon? No, I haven't, unfortunately. Fascination has some Bushmasters for sale. Yeah, I saw that. The Bushmasters are also not cheap. Um. Uh oh. What? See? Look. Y'all can see that. Jeremy, you're probably calling me about the damn ball python thing, aren't you? Is that what you're calling me? Oh, because I said I didn't know what a ball... Well, I'm on a YouTube Live right now. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Appreciate oh, that. Man. Oh, Rob, I don't want to see that. <laughs> oh. I will. Hi, buddy. Hey, hey you, you want to show my lovely YouTube audience what, what you were just doing? Go ahead. I can't do yeah, that. Yeah, we can't do that. Yeah, yeah, I know. My video will get taken down. Did you just guys? Did you guys just do another? Told me to call you, so that's why I called. You. Cause I oh, started talking about ball pythons. That's why. Oh okay. She's sending a bunch of evil smiley faces in the background. <laughs> okay, we'll go back and do your live stream. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. Oh, thanks, Jay. Um, Ron put some clothes on. He had clothes on. He just mooned me. Oh no, they're here. Jeremy loves to call me when I'm filming for whatever reason. Did you ever figure out the morph of the one? Um, I don't know which one you're talking about. I know what all four are. I have a pastel female, uh, albino female, an exanthic female, and then a banana pie male. Oh, the micro scale? I don't know. Actually, no, it is not a micro scale. I actually asked Jeremy that last night, and he told me the answer for that. Still have the Sidewinder, if so, update. No, the Sidewinders died a long time ago. Um, the guy that sent them to me, because he sent them to me for free, 
I didn't even tell him he died, but they were like babies and not eating when he sent them to me. And I was force feeding them for so long. Um, so I guess he's sending me now a male eyelash viper. So that'll be cool. Hopefully this one's eating though. Because that would suck if it's not eating. But it's a male and I need a male. Uh, no, I don't have any of those. Uh, the blue dragon on the, wait, what? Oh, you're answering somebody else. You ever kept scorpions? Yeah, when I was younger. I sent you a message on Instagram. Oh, Katie, that was, okay, that was you that messaged me on Instagram? Yeah, no, no sheds yet. I was, I was confused at what you meant about that earlier. It's super funny when people call it <laughs> live stream. <laughs> Any interest in arachnids? Yeah, I'll get some once I get more established with things, but... It's gonna it's gonna take a while before that happens. So definitely build some cool like bioactive stuff for arachnids eventually. Summer's good. Her and Coral are sleeping. I asked for sheds and the rattlesnakes years ago. You gotta stay on top of me. You know that, Ember. If you don't stay on top of me, I just throw sheds out. I don't keep them. I know. You and your wife have plenty of experience with big cats. Are you planning on getting any? Um, I, as much as I would love to get big cats, we still can't because we still don't have the right amount of property. Um, if we do get the right amount of property, yes, I'm 100% getting big cats. Are you going to breed Squirtle? If I get a female alligator snapping turtle, sure. Summer's allergic to them. I don't care. Summer doesn't have to take care of them. She can keep her little foxes. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of the, the cats. I like big cats. How cold is it there? It's like, oh my God. It's not that cold here. Only big cat I keep is a cheetah. I don't even know what language that is, but I cannot read that. What is your favorite turtle and tortoise? Ooh. I mean, I really do love alligator snapping turtles, so I'm gonna go with there, probably my favorite turtle. I was so thrilled to finally get one. Um, as for tortoises, hmm. I mean, the glops are so cool because they're so personable, like the Aldabras, but I'm gonna go with the glops. I think they're my favorite, just because they're like literally old men, but they have personalities, so it's pretty cool. Afraid of mom, it's just other snakes. Uh, what size gauges do you have? Zeros or double zeros? I don't even know what these are anymore. I think they're zeros. No sulcatas. Just wait, Mike. Wait until I post the update for Patreon. It's been me three here. God, it's not that cold. I think it's like 75 right now. Actually, that reminds me, I gotta go check something before I go to bed. You got a Salcata, I take it. No, I didn't get one. I got donated two. Oh, dropping shit. Hi. No, Mr. Burby's Python, you're not eating right now. I think a noob has already started using the bathroom. Posting what in the Patreon video? Come on, Mike. You gotta, you gotta pay attention, bro. I feel like I'm super tall. It's at that angle. There we go. What's your favorite octopus? I don't, I don't know. The frozen tundra of Wisconsin. Listen, 
I was in Wisconsin and I didn't know that cheese curds were a freaking thing. Oh my God, every restaurant we went to, they had like different style cheese curds. If you don't know what a cheese curd is, it's really good. I called it a different style of mozzarella stick and people wanted to throw beer at me. So don't ever do that. But cheese curds are really good. You look super tall every single angle. <sighs> Damn. Cheese curds are amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Texas laws are, are a little bit better. I was actually just up there. Wasn't too thrilled with Dallas, I'm not going to lie. Dallas was very industrial, and I did not like it. And I was very happy to know that tumbleweeds are a real thing. Oklahoma was pretty, though. I went up to Oklahoma afterwards. That was, that was nice. Uh, did you decide you wanted to move? At what point in your life did you decide you wanted to move to caring for venomous reptiles? I don't know. I've always been fascinated with venomous snakes since I was a little kid. Thanks to my lovely sister. What cheese curds? What is your favorite bird of prey? Hmm. Golden eagles, because they're my size bird. Do a collab with the other tall guy with the beard, kind of famous. I, I don't know who that is. Yo, man, can we see the Indian? No, Mike, he's sleeping right now, bro. And that means I gotta go in there and blast lights on that are on timers, not even on a remote. I love cheese curds. That's poutine. Yeah, that's poutine. That's not cheese curds. Golden eagles are monsters. Yeah, but you gotta think about it. You got like, if I, if I had my arm up, you have like a bald eagle, a golden eagle. So a golden eagle is like my size bird. What's up, what's up? Yeah, what other tall guy? I want to know what other tall guy with a beard. Am I missing something? I have a lot of collabs coming up here in February, actually. Like a good two or three with some fish YouTubers. I know a lot of you guys don't, don't care too much about fish YouTube, but um, it's definitely opened up a whole another thing for me. So... Uh, Have a great night, you too. I think they're talking about Dave Kaufman. Is Dave, I don't even know if he's that tall. You need a collab with Al. I don't know who Al is. Rattle on. <laughs> Speaking of your sister, doesn't she have just as or better snakes than you? Um, no, my sister has nowhere near the amount of snakes that I have. Um, Ben, what's going on? Viper Keeper, that would be some. Doing a collab with Al from, or Viper Keeper, yeah. What's your favorite duck? I don't have a favorite duck. What's your opinion on Dingo Dinkleman? Seems like a smart guy. Somebody earlier asked me if I'd do a collab with him, but I said, yeah, I would do one if I went to South Africa or he came here, I wouldn't do, do, do this kind of thing. Any thoughts with AFR maybe doing pond or fish for the zoo? What? How tall is your sister? My sister's like, I think it's like 5'10", something like that. The one's not pooping on your deck. That is very true. Yeah, Al, Al has been around for frickin' ever. Shh. 
show some snakes. Yeah, I already showed them. Right? Right. Let's see. Oh, I broke it. So you got the forest cobra. Miss Twitchy. Yeah, I do have a pond with fish in it. The other forest cobra. Oh, 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 boop the snoot. You want to boop the snoot? Do it. Boop it. Boop. There you go. Um, that's the baby king. You see his little cute nose sticking out. That guy. He's he's just he's just in there. She do be twitchy, yes yeah, she do. Yeah, I don't think Al wants to collab with other people. Uh, and then you got the big jerk. Let's see if I can do this here. What's up, big jerk? I know your rabbit's coming. I promise. No, the camera's over here. Your rabbit is coming, I promise. Somebody asked how the berm was earlier. There's the berm. He's hungry, we need to feed him. Um, Al and Kevin are walking, that's true. Um, the Crusher, yeah, my Patreon's named him Crusher. He still doesn't have a name after almost 12 years now. Oh, baby king came out. No, oh, I keep flipping the camera. I guess I'm not supposed to do that. Look who it is. It's a baby king. You're so cute. Oh, you got some stuck shit on you. So the camera on this thing probably looks like a big eye. So that's why the codes are like, what is that? These motherfucking snakes on a motherfucking plane. Um, the berm is a male, not a female, so won't get too, too big. Let's see what do we got going on over here. Yes, I still have puppy. There's the Mossasagas. Is he a rhino viper? Mijor Rhino. Um, yes, I still have puppies. Are these snakes a full-time job? Do you have help? I have an apprentice that's learning venomous snakes. Um, uh, 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 it's kind of wet in there, but... Zippo Feather. The beautiful golden lance head. Will, do you have a timber? I have two. August and Bellatrix. Oh wait, if I move right here, you can see both of them. Shrimp, there you go. So August is the one in the back, Bellatrix is the one in the front. They are both sleepy little babies right now, apparently. Uh-oh. Yeah, these two. I love it. I've, so I've had Bellatrix, which is this one here in the front. I've had her since she was a tiny little baby. Absolutely tiny. And then she's, uh, what is she? She's going on... When did I get her? I think she's like seven years old now. I got her and Lori around the same time. No, so she's like nine years old. Eight, eight or nine, something like that. I think I got Lori a year before her. Um... Oh, I missed a bunch of comments. Sorry, guys. I, I, I can't even... I keep messing this up every time I go to swipe. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I've been seeing some of the ridge nose rattlesnakes lately. Fantastic looking animals. They look like... The, yeah, they do. They look like the can tails. They're cool as hell. Then I got... These two pretty little things. That's actually the thing. What's on your glass? You guys poop on your glass? That's gross. 
So I think that's the female. And there's the male back there. Can I zoom in on this one? Oh, I can zoom in, so dope. I might do live streams on the iPad more often. Don't wanna zoom in all the way though. Shh, here we go. All right, now you're gonna get up. See, so now you guys have to watch me get up. Ugh, sorry, getting old, it sucks. What's your favorite chicken? Uh, the barbecued kind. <laughs> can you, wait, can two combinos breed or are they not able to? Uh, I don't see why not. Or no, have I, I think I've heard that they can't breed. I actually don't know. I've never owned a gabino. Yeah, my rhino's way too small to breed. Kentucky Fried. <laughs> iPads are like the iPhone will. Yeah, but the iPhone is a lot smaller. The iPad's a lot bigger, so I can actually read your guys' comments a lot easier than I can on my phone. And my phone's almost dead, so. What do you like to read? I don't like to read at all, actually. I don't have time to sit down and read a book. The only reason I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a live stream today because I didn't get the video up this morning that I wanted to get up. So I was like, I'll just do a live stream tonight and then I'll post the video tomorrow. So, because I like to post early in the morning so everybody gets a chance to see it. Church is chicken. Why are we having a debate about chicken right now? Fine, you know what? That only Southern people will get? Publix. I like Publix fried chicken. Boom. That's the best chicken right there. Publix. Every time somebody comes and visits me from out of state or something, I'm like, oh, you have to go get a pub sub. Pub subs are the best. You should breed some naked binos. I'd pick one up. Yeah, if I get an older rhino viper, I would I would try and breed them. How do they kill the rats and mice? Who's they? Do you keep any anti-venom at your establishment? Or do you have any? No, anti-venom is way too expensive. Yeah, I think somebody just answered that. I think it was Ember. Yeah, it's expensive and it expires, even though you can still use it after it's expired, but. I take offense to that, sir. I have no idea what Publix is. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, you better get on it then. Publix is the shit. What's your favorite rhinoceros species? I like white rhinos. See what I did there? So yeah. So yeah, I'm currently babysitting, what, one, two, three, four, five, six snakes right now. I have also Ryan from Primitive Predators. I have two of his blue and Solaris as well. Um, Official blood runner, what's up? Um, if you've ever been to Texas, Dave's chicken is amazing. I have been to Texas, I just didn't eat there. I don't think we have one here, at least near me. Megan, the Publixes are all over the place. They even went to like South Georgia. Come on, get with the times. Food talk better right now. <laughs> What kind of cages do you use? Only vision cages. That's it. The only things that I feel comfortable with keeping my venomous snakes in. So, what time is it? Man, it's past 11 o'clock. Y'all got me on here for 70 minutes already. Uh, uh, why don't you have any oh, these cobras? Because I don't have them right now. I also am like way out of cage space, hence why I'm using a rodent rack for snakes. Blame the fans, I know, right? Uh, well, the tree vipers aren't in visions. That's true, they're not in vision cages. Only because the glass cages are good for the vivariums. Don't go well, it's eight on the west coast. You're good. <laughs> I 
what's Florida actually like coming from Tennessee? Um, it's hot. It's overpopulated. Um, it's very humid. It's very overpopulated. We have an awesome, badass governor. But that's about it. I was supposed to be going to bed early. Well, Megan, you didn't go to bed early. Not my fault. Uh, does coral have any snakes? Yeah, coral's got a, a corn snake. It's actually right behind the iPad, living in this little thing. Yeah, I don't even know, it's probably sleeping. What's up, little buddy? Come here. Don't worry, my daughter's not gonna hold you today. See, little corn snake. This is what we call those wild caught Florida corns. Okay, you can go back now. Oh, wait, I gotta put your hide back down. Don't pull the iPad over. Stay. Okay. Cool, made me hold that snake for a while. Yeah, Megan, she got bad, or Jess, she got bad lately. I don't know why. She's like, around. she wants to like play with it like it's her best friend. And I'm like, you can't do that, Coral. You guys need to hop off and like the video. Appreciate that, Mikey. Uh, I think I said, what's up, Tara? Um... He broke it. I didn't break anything. Crocs. Crocs are outside tonight. It's warm enough outside, they can stay outside tonight. Favorite music? Hmm. I don't know. I like a little bit of everything, so. Not lately what's on the radio, but I like all, all genres. Later, buddy. Appreciate the love. Um, where was I? There was a one I saw. I want to read. Oh, uh, Nikki W. Fox are doing good. Reggae. Mike. Mike likes reggae. <laughs> I'm in Florida too. We'll live super far away from me. It's because Florida is so long. It's ridiculous. It takes me seven hours to just drive out of the state. And that's if I'm just going straight north. Uh, you like guns? Well, I'm not a big gun guy, no. Yes, I do, I do like Lamb of God quite a bit. I'm just old school. <laughs> How do you know you're getting old? You can't stand radio music anymore. This is very true. Very, very true. What do you think about the concepts, I'm assuming, of a Florida man? Uh, there's a lot of messed up people in Florida, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, look at the, look at, look at shit. There's crazy YouTubers from Florida. Do you like rock? Yes. I could never stand that. I guess I was born old. <laughs> Do you know who Houston Venom is? Yeah, he sent me a snake a long time ago. Um, I forget what it was. He sent me something. Oh, the bamboo tree viper came from him. He sent me that for free. It was pretty dope. But that was like a year and a half ago. He sent me that and something else because my sister bought something from him. Then he found that I was her brother. So then he sent snakes with those snakes for me, which was cool. So. At least till you turn on here, they'll hear your childhood truth. What? We had people putting gasoline in a trash bag. That was random. 
you like the song Rocket Man by Elton John? No, not not a fan of Elton John. What happened to Ed? Nothing. He's six drawers down from where you are right now. <laughs> when you turn the radio down to see better. Oh, that's great. No, our Florida women are called Karens. Yeah, Ed's still good. He's doing great. You don't have any Gila monsters, right? No, I don't have any Gila's yet. I'll get them eventually, but not yet. What's your favorite type of hunting? Um, snake hunting. Levy's Aquatics, what's up? Wait, I hope I said that right. No bearded either. Yeah, I don't have any desert lizards right now. Any plans on coming to Michigan again? Yes. Um, hopefully after the, the new year, I will be going up to Michigan. I don't have time to go herping, Ember. Where, wait, where would you like me to pull this time from? Why don't you just take time out of the end and be like, yes, I have this now. It's mine. I'm going to run with it. I, that, just, that just doesn't happen for me. I'm sorry. Heels are a bit of a pain in the butt to breed, but I wouldn't want a pair. I'm not trying to breed them. What's your favorite? Hunting to kill so you can eat it. Does fishing count? What's your least favorite place in the world? My house when my wife's mad. <laughs> She's gonna kill me for that later. <laughs> Plans to go to Snake Discovery after the Reptarium. Um, maybe. Is she, I don't. Is she close? Close to Brian? I don't even know. Summer mad seems impossible. <laughs> Stop pissing her off. She who cannot speak. I'm gonna make that merch line. Sleep with one eye open. Megan, you better not tell her. Or you, Ember. I know you too. Fishing counts. All right, then there you go. I like fishing. She's in Wisconsin. I don't know. I love possums and sweet potatoes. I don't like sweet potatoes. Possums are okay. Um, favorite and least favorite snake species to work with. Um, hmm. That I personally own. I'm gonna go with the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnakes as my favorite and my least favorite as the Forest Cobras. Boom, there you go. Wait, tell Summer what? Uh, she missed it. Ember, don't you think about it. Um, oops. This live will be saved, right? Probably not, because I'm uploading a video tomorrow. What happened this summer? Nothing. She's just sleeping right now. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Appreciate the love, buddy. Um, oh my God, Ember. <laughs> Why are these going away so fast? I don't even get time to finish reading them and they're already gone. Um, 
Thanks, Method. Will, what's up? Have you ever traveled to South America? No, never traveled to South America. I would like to one day, but not quite yet. I know a bunch of my friends from Canada just went down to uh, Costa Rica and had an awesome time and found some really awesome snakes. And I was very jealous, but yeah. I love fishing. So do I. Yeah, so do I. Coral loves fishing. She wants to go fishing every day in our pond. Hopefully she doesn't catch like an arowana or something. I was like, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> um, snakes must be euthanized if they have... Jesus. If they have too many kinks in... Um, uh, the blue dragon, I don't think so, um, if that's, uh, I've never heard of, I mean, people do euthanize their snakes, but usually if a baby snake is born with a bunch of kinks or defects, some people keep them, some people put them in the freezer. I like the Jack Daniels terrain episode. Keep up the work. Awesome, Matt. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. That was a fun little build. I also have a gentleman's jack bottle I've been like debating on doing, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. But I have something else I need to build first because I got a bunch of new animals all of a sudden and they need cages. So I got to build, build, build. Will, what was your first cobra you kept? Hmm. I don't remember. What was my first cobra I kept? I know I was living next door to Tyler. What was my first? I don't even know. It was either a monocle or an Indian. Or maybe it was a spinning cobra. I honestly, I, I don't remember, to be honest with you. I feel left out. Well, Jess. Get out of Donnie's live stream and just hang out in ours and you won't feel left out. Banded Egyptian. No, that wasn't my first Cobra. Yeah, I, I don't remember. I'm trying to remember what my first Cobra was, but... A very long time ago. Uh, did you always want to be a venomous keeper? Um, no. Actually, I never knew what I wanted to be when I grew up when I was a little kid. I got in trouble in school a lot because of that. But here I am. 30 years old. 31 years old. With more snakes than I can count. Did you see Tyler got venom in his eye from his new spitter? No, I didn't see that. What? what? He didn't have a face mask on? Melissa, what's up? No, he had a mask, but it got under. Oof. Well, I'm assuming he's okay, because I know he's in the Bahamas right now, diving with sharks, so. He did but regular safety glasses, yeah, no. Doesn't he have like a face mask thing though? Why, why wasn't he wearing that? Little glasses, yeah. Watch the vid after the live stream. I think it was, oh, he got wrinkles vipers, or wrinkles vipers, wow. It's been a long day. I've been up since very early editing, all day. Literally all day I've been sitting on my computer. Yeah, I'll have to watch that. His cameraman had the mask on. Oh, Pepe.
what traits or skills do you look in for a venomous apprentice? Um, pretty much a worth work ethic. If what's in your pen, it's just nicotine. Um, yeah, if he comes to work, he busts his butt, wants to learn, doesn't jump the gun and try and handle stuff right away. To me, that's a good apprentice. Wants to stick to it, can take my crap, then sure. That's pretty much what I look for. Like Brian now, my apprentice now. Boy, he doesn't ever want to take pictures with anything. He can handle everything in this room except for the forest cobras and Anubis comfortably. He still doesn't want to take pictures with them or nothing. Um, you need to hire an editor. Yeah. Except for my job is also videography, so that's for other clients. Um, what flavor profile? Um, I don't know. It's called black ice. I don't know. I think it's some berry one, maybe. I don't know. It's called black ice, but it tastes good. My buddy Jeff got me turned on to this one. How's Susie? Good, from what I know. I actually haven't talked to her in a couple days. Don't forget sanity. <laughs> Favorite sport is hockey. Whoever asked me that, who was that? Oh, Arthur. Yeah, I like hockey. I grew up playing hockey, so. All right, what do we got? Oh my God, we're almost at 90 minutes. This is the longest live stream I think I've ever done. You guys are just rolling out these questions. Is nerd a profit or non-profit? Nerd is 100% a profit. But they do do it. Yeah, they've taken a lot of animals too. Once we are open and have the cages built and everything, trust me, we're gonna be taking a lot of animals too. But for right now, it's I've been turning people down because I don't have a place to put all these animals yet. I think pit bulls are the best. Uh, sure. I'm not a dog person really. I get crapped on by my Patreons all the time because I love all animals except for dogs. Um, loving the new channel and everything. Just wondering what are the odds? Talking about Crotalus like Vimeriums? It's possible in the future. Oh, no worries. I'll do more lives if you guys want. I wasn't expecting this many people to jump on. You have dogs. Yes, I know I have dogs. Will is weird. I am very, very weird. Yeah, I know. I haven't done a live in well over a year. I know that. So. How are things coming along at the new house in terms of where you want to end up? Um, It's coming. I mean, I'm a one-man crew building a zoo, so... It's going as fast as my hands will and back will let me. My Nile got her friend. <laughs> I wish I want I need to get a Nile. I want to get a Morales crocodile first. Found a place in Texas that sells them super cheap. Will you get to do any gator handling again soon? Yeah, every time I got to go out and feed uh, Charmander. Use the live channel, sir. I deleted the live channel, ma'am. So that ain't gonna happen. Def do more lives. Yeah, Summer even said when I told her I was gonna do a live stream thing, she's like, oh, it's gonna mess up your algorithm. I'm like, my algorithm's already messed up anyway, so I don't care. No, I deleted the live channel. I know I started one just for lives, but yeah, I deleted it. Hence, Barefoot Builder now. My little sister is scared of birds and cats. I want a broad snot that came in, I do too. Oh, that was you that DM'd me, okay. 
you know, I need to get more Olets or something. I want to get another crocodile. Once I start getting pens built, though, I almost bought one last week, but I, I went against it. Um, is the fencing around the property done or still working on it? Still working on it. It's a lot of fencing. And now that the price of everything is starting to finally go down, I can continue these big projects because I've been doing little projects here and there. And again, starting other businesses and those businesses taking off. So, uh, I'm a chef and won't feed frozen, but I can't get past the thought process. <laughs> um, how's the baby? Coral's doing great. She's a monster, literally. She's the size of a five-year-old at three years old. Have you ever, ever met anyone from the Irwin family? No, I have never met any of the Irwins. Yeah, I need to do another, I need to sex a lot of snakes. I just haven't decided if I want to film it yet. And I need help doing it because I, I need, I would need like three people. One to film, one to hold, and then me to sex. Oh, Nikki, what's up? Didn't even realize that was you. Yeah, mine's already in 5T, Mike. It drives me nuts. What's your favorite porcupine? I like mm, I like the pre the South American porcupines. They're pretty cool. North American porcupines are pretty dope too, though. They're they're very cute, but I like South American because the whole prehensile tail thing. Joseph, what's going on? Uh, when are you going to Brian's place? Um, oh going back to Brian's place. Um, hopefully right after the new year, I'll be going back up to Brian's place. Help with the gecko room. Yep, that's why I'm going up, so. Also heard broad snouts aren't allowed to be taken across state lines here in Texas, so there's only one person with them. That's weird, if it's not a native species, I don't know why it wouldn't matter. Uh, favorite herping trip you've been on and where? Uh, Everglades National Park. A lot of good memories in that park. Um, what has been your scariest experience working with animals? Hmm. I don't know, probably sometime in my back in the big cat days, to be honest with you. It's Joe freaking Mac. Oh boy. What's up, Joe? Well, it says Joseph. How am I supposed to know that? Ah, oh, Joe. Did you even open my Snapchat the other day, you jerk? I don't even think you did. I sent you one. You didn't send me one back. That ain't cool, bro. Lunch. Um... No, lunge isn't as scary as a lion running at you without a thing in between. So, what's up from San Diego? What's going on? I'm sure I would have opened it. Can we see some diamonds? I, I don't wear diamonds, but sure. But yeah, after this, I'm probably going to bed because it's super late and I have more editing to do tomorrow. There's them in. The evil wicked witch. And then the other two are always together. And I cannot forget or Marta, the girl. Well, maybe a girl. I don't know. I gotta sex her too. Sex it. Yeah. What's up from Ohio? How many rattlesnakes do you have? I could not tell you. Honestly, could not tell you that right now. I have a lot. 
only because I just had babies right now and I'm waiting for more babies to pop out any day now. So there's that too. Do you miss working with big cats? Um, kinda. Well, have you ever been to Australia? No, I have not been to Australia. Um, I desperately, desperately want to go over there. Um, but I, if I go over there, I want to go over there for like a month or two months, not just like a week, because you can't see Australia in a week. So there's that. What's your favorite saltwater aquarium fish? I don't even know. Yes, I'm waiting for live birth babies. So, just a lot. But I'm gonna get out of here, guys. We've been on for over an hour and a half now. So, hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. I will have a new video up tomorrow at eight o'clock. So, stay tuned for that. Can't wait for the new baby rattlesnakes. Yeah, I can. I don't know where I'm gonna put them all. Gotta make, make another trip to Walmart and get more totes. What's your favorite lemur? Rough lemurs. All right, guys, take it easy. Appreciate all the love. Definitely have to do this again sooner than later. I won't wait another year before I do a live stream, I promise. So. Bye, guys. Oh, wait, can I do the bye thing? <gasps> bye!